Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I've got some handy tips for optimizing Streamlabs settings on a low-end PC. These tweaks will help you stream smoothly without any lags, making the experience better for both you and your viewers. Let's say you've attempted streaming in 1080p, but encountered issues like lags, freezes, and crashes. In such cases, it's wise to adjust your settings. Give 720p shot instead. I'll use Google as an example and type in Twitch Broadcasting Guidelines. Regardless of your streaming platform, these values are quite universal. So we'll aim for 720p at 30 FPS and try to stick to these recommended settings for a smoother streaming experience. Let's open up Streamlabs and keep it on the side. Now head to your settings and we'll begin by adjusting the output. Navigate to the streaming section. Again, if you don't see this one, just click advanced here. So you have simple and advanced. So click this one. Now let's focus on the encoder. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, choose that option. If not, or if you don't have a graphics card, click on the software option. Here, you can choose to rescale the output or leave it as is. We'll rescale it later, so it's not crucial right now. For rate control, go with CBR. Now let's focus on the bitrate. Start with 3000. If you encounter issues, you can lower it to 2500 or 2000. We'll go with 3000 for now. Set the keyframe interval to two. For the preset, we're going to leave it at faster. And then for the profile, we're going to set it at high. And for the tune and for this option, we're going to leave it as it is none. Now, let's move on to the audio settings. For the audio byte rate, you can also change this to 160. The audio track one will be for your desktop and audio track two for your microphone. If you have more audio sources, feel free to adjust accordingly. Next, click on video. The base canvas is your monitor. If you have a 1080p monitor, leave it as is. If you have a 720p monitor, you can select that option. However, in my case with a 1080p monitor, I'll leave it at that resolution. For the output, since we're targeting a 720p stream, select 1280p by 720p. Now, considering we've already downscaled, it's time to adjust the downscale filter. Click here and you should see Bicubic. Start with Bicubic. Avoid the third option, which is Lanso's, as it's typically for high-end PCs. Begin with Bicubic, and if issues persist, go ahead and use Bilinear. Let's go ahead and choose Bicubic in this case. Now for the FPS type, opt for common values. If you're gaming, stick with 30 FPS. But if you're having a conversation or a less intensive activity, you can decrease this to 25. And it's perfect. Click Done to apply all the changes. From this point forward, you can test your stream as you've optimized the settings for your PC's capabilities. Good luck. That concludes today's tutorial. If you found it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing for more informative content, and leave a comment if you have any questions or feedback. Thank you for watching.